scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. There is something about pain and prolonged situations that are negative. They can begin to deflate how far you think God can go as far as his might is concerned. You can start reducing your standards as far as what you know God can do. Lord, this is what I trust you for. But now I think it's, it's like you can't go that far. So just, just whatever it is you can do for me. And the king said, Elisha said, because you have said this, you will see it and yet not eat of it. Next verse. Now I want you to pay attention to how the miracle happened. Because there is a lesson here to learn also. And this is what will be happening over someone's life this night. God speaks that he's bringing redemption. Not to an individual, not to a family, not to a community. But to an entire land. Now the prophet, the yielded vessel, now declares it. Let me show you what happens. The moment a word comes from God and is accurately declared... To men, miracles begin to happen. The spirit of the living God, watch this. There were no available men and God found four leprous men. You see, I told you that when it has to do with God, you don't need to be powerful. All it needs is for you to be yielded. You cannot associate power with four leprous men as far as bringing a harvest to a territory is concerned. And there were four leprous men at the entering of the gate. And they said to one another, why sit we here till we die? Please look up. Do you realize that these men, what was moving them to start becoming dissatisfied was this, they were under the influence of that prophecy. They had been there, but they said, you know what? Let's not sit here till we die. Little did they know. The same way you felt, why sit at home? Can I just come for koinonia? You thought you were just coming. And your neighbor who would not come said, can I go with you? You didn't know that a word was already sent. That this is your season of lifting. This is your season of encounter. Next verse. Please keep that scripture for us. The Bible says, And they rose up in the twilight to go to the camp of the Syrians. And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp, ay, 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 behold, there was no man there. What happened for the Lord? Back to that Lord again. All power belongs to the Lord. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a sound of a noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. Look at what God is doing here. And they said to one another, Lo, the king of Israel had hired against us the king of the Hittites, the king of the Egyptians. Who told them? It's a terrible thing when God is against you. Anything can fight you. Anything can fight you when God is against you. Four leprous men. Ladies and gentlemen, we are intelligent people. If, even if agile men, even if Olympians are running, if you are in this auditorium, you can't hear their sound. As soon as those guys began to walk, the Bible said that these people just had. And they started even suggesting the nation that were hired. The Hittites, the Egyptians to come to us. 
Verse 7. Wherefore, they arose and fled at twilight and left their tents and their horses and their asses, even the camp as it was, and fled for their life. And when these lepers came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink. Do you know what it means to have this kind of breakthrough as a leper? Nobody is fighting you, no oppression, nobody is pushing you and saying, unclean, unclean, you wait till we eat. You know that was the custom then? They would push them away. And when they carried silver and gold and raiment and went and hid it, and they came again and they entered into another tent everybody say prepared blessings and carried tents also and went and hid it verse 9 they said something to themselves that god is telling some of you and they said to one another we do not well this day is a day of good tidings and we hold our peace if we tarry till the morning light some mischief will come upon us now therefore come that we may go and tell the king that means we can't enjoy this alone we have seen the power and the grace of god but remember we have relatives too remember we have other people who need this miracle so they came and called on to the porter of the city and told them saying we came to the camp of the syrians and behold there was no man there neither voice of man but horses tied as his tied, tens as they were. And he called the porters, and they told to the king. They told it to the king's house within. Uh -huh. And the king arose in the night and said unto the servants, I will now show you what the Syrians have done unto us. You see the king. There is a way that God will bless you, you will think it's a lie. You will still not trust the blessing. This is what is happening. The king said, I am smart. These guys are not that weak. It's an ambush. They know that we be hungry. Therefore, are they gone out of the camp to hide themselves in the field, saying, when they come out of the city, we shall catch them alive and get into the city. And one of the servants answered and said, let some take, I pray thee, five of the horses that remain, which are left in the city. Behold, they are as all the multitudes of Israel that are left in it. Behold, I say, they are even as the multitudes of the Israelites that are consumed, and let us send and see. Now watch this. They took therefore two chariot horses, and the king sent after the host of the Syrians, saying, Go and see. Be patient. And they went after them unto Jordan, and lo, all the way was full of garments and vessels, which the Syrians had cast away in their haste. And the messengers returned and told the king. And the people went out and spoiled the tents of the Egyptians. So the, a measure of fine flour was sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel, according to the word of the Lord. We are still reading. And the king appointed the Lord on whose hand he leaned to have charge of the gate. And the people trod upon him in the gate. And he died as the man of God said, who spoke when the king came down to him. Please look up. There is a very powerful lesson here. God speaks through a yielded vessel. And he says, by this time tomorrow, so and so would happen. And an intelligent man comes logically. You would think God will forgive him and say, they've suffered. There is, I mean, don't blame the man. The prophet said, you will see it and you will not eat of it. They now made him in charge of it. And while he was trying to push people, let's be orderly here. They matched him. You don't act like that with hungry people. These guys have not eaten women who were boiling their children. And here is a man who already the curse of the Lord is upon him. Standing at the gate and they matched him and killed him there. They didn't even know he was dead. Everybody was passing to go and eat. God is a mighty God. He can not only save individuals and families. He can save cities and nations in one day. If this were a parable, the Bible would tell us it was a parable. A day came upon this earth. This event actually happened. Hallelujah. 
God works through man. God is mighty, but his almightiness, the fullness of the potential of his power, is only seen when there are yielded vessels. Please take note. It is not as though God is limited. God is all-powerful. But, if you do not find yielded vessels, God will seem to look weak. Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13. Hosea 12 and verse 13. Here's what the Bible says. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. Who brought them out of Egypt? No prophet can bring people out of Egypt. It is the Lord. But it happens by a prophet. Nobody has the power to heal. You can't just speak to someone who is holding crutches with their legs broken and says, throw that thing and start walking. No. No. That kind of power is not given to men on their own. However, by a prophet, the Lord, the Lord can stand behind an individual as weak as you are, as powerless as you may seem, as incapable as you may seem. But when he stands behind you, ah, everything becomes possible when he holds your head. Impossible becomes possible when you hold my hand. Everything becomes possible when you hold my hand. Impossible becomes possible. Ladies and gentlemen, do not ask how God will visit you tonight. That's not a wise question. Mary said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? He said, no, that is not your realm. Yours is to believe. The dynamics of its manifestation. God is like a movie director. He can use anything to make his word come to pass. And by a prophet, please back to that scripture. The Lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet was he his israel preserved second chronicles chapter 20 and verse 20 popular scripture this is your own assignment tonight second chronicles 20 and verse 20 the Bible says, And they rose up early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. He says, Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. So there are two entities to believe. Number one, and in order of priority, you must believe the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, the almighty and all-powerful. You owe it to believe him. But in addition to believing him, you must believe the vessel that he uses. Believe in the Lord. Believe his prophets. You can believe his prophets and not believe in the Lord. That is idolatry. You can believe in the Lord and not believe in his prophets. Your answer will remain in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. I assure you your answer will remain in the realm of the spirit. And that's not where you need it. If you believe in his prophets more than you believe in the Lord, you are already practicing witchcraft and idolatry. In order of priority, you must believe in the Lord. But... You will not believe in the Lord God. You must believe in the Lord your God. This is my message tonight. Pay attention. The Lord that you must believe in must be your God for it to work. You cannot believe in the Lord one creator somewhere. <clears throat> the Lord that produces this kind of result for you must be the Lord who has become your God. He is Lord, but is He your God? You are my God. This is not a general thing. You are my God. Listen, you can believe in the Lord 
the God that your mother worships that you have refused to surrender your life to. You can believe in the Lord your God. The one you had one zealous preacher talking about. Tonight, before you even see all the miracles, he wants to be the Lord, but he wants to also be your God. Many people believe he is the Lord, but they are not interested in having him become their God. In this kingdom, when it has to do with exploits and results, it is the people that do know they are God. Not God. They are God. There is a relationship component to exploits. Your God. How can I call on your name and end up in shame? No way. How can I bow down before you and then bow down before a man? Because you are my God. Tonight, you have come to the Lord. Whether you believe him or not, he is still Lord. The earth is the Lord's. Listen, there are four conditions for anyone to be called Lord over a territory. According to Psalm 24 and verse 1. Psalm 24 and verse 1 gives us the litmus test. If we must call you Lord, there must be four things that you must own. Number one, the end. Number two, the resources, the fullness. Number three, you must control the mind system. The mind control system. And number four, the inhabitants. If you own the land and you don't own the resources, you are not Lord. You must own the earth, the physical environment. Number two, you must have dominion over the resources within that territory. Number three, you must control the mind of the people. By control, that means that it is your values that influence the thinking of the people. And then number four, you must have influence over the inhabitants there. This also is the principle of territorial dominion. If you want to take over a territory for Jesus, please keep that scripture there. This must be the four things you look for. Dominion over land. Dominion over the resources within that territory. Dominion over the mind control systems. And influence over the inhabitants. That territory is over. Whoever wields control over the land, the resources, the mind control system, and the inhabitants is Lord. This is all Satan looks for. When Satan comes to a territory... He wants to empower men who would own physical land. Because there is a dimension of faith and dominion that is tied to land. This is for another day. So we know that he is Lord because he owns the earth. He owns the resources. The Bible says the cattle on a thousand hills even belong to him. The mind control system. And they that dwell therein, they all belong to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we together? Yes. So, if you believe in the Lord, the mighty God of heaven, and then you believe in his servants, the Bible clearly tells you that you have fulfilled the condition that makes for possibilities. Most people, listen carefully, most people believe in the Lord, but He has not become their God. You may be seated here all across and following online. You came to church. You're welcome. And that is wonderful and even commendable. But this Lord, who is a miracle worker, within a few minutes from now, we're going to be celebrating the triumph of light over darkness. The triumph 
of the power of God over mundane principalities and powers. God himself will flaunt his glory once again in the midst of his people. He's going to be signing a signature like Julius Berger will build. And if you are saying who built it, there you will see a big B there. God is about to do something and sign his signature upon your life. That everyone who sees cannot say this is your boss. No, this cannot be your boss. This cannot be your mother-in-law. This cannot be some politician somewhere. This one is God. But hear me. You can receive miracles tonight. You can celebrate what God is doing. Following across the nations of the earth. You can receive all kinds of things and leave. And if they ask you, who healed you? You can tell them, the Lord. If they ask you, who lifted you from this dungeon? Who broke this age-long captivity? But for us, we will not just say the Lord. I will say he is the Lord, my God. I can introduce you to him. If you tell them the Lord, you don't have a relationship with him to extend his power to others. You should not just stop as the Lord. He must become your God. He is my God and his name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh. You're my king, and your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh. Listen, you've heard me say it here, believers. Listen, when you go to a herbalist, when you go to some kind of necromancer or one who manipulates the realm of the spirit, in an attempt to provide solutions. Did you know that he does not need a relationship with you? You don't even need to know his name. How many native doctors have given their names to people? They don't care. Because the, the point of contact is just your need. It's not a relationship. But you see, when you come to this God, he's not just interested in giving you a miracle, a power, job, healing. <clears throat> He feels it's an insult to give you those things first. The first thing he presents is himself. Himself. Not just his power. Himself. And he's not ashamed to come and live within an individual. So that you don't just call him the miracle worker alone. You can also call him your God. This is where sometimes, respectfully speaking, men and women of God make this mistake. We keep presenting to people a God that is far, and they watch His power, they watch His grace, they watch His wonders, and then at the end of it, we share the grace. And they leave having received from a stranger. They leave having been blessed by a stranger. Many of you go to the market. And you have a few people you call customer. They call you customer, you call them customer. Is that true? If you are going to go and buy goat or a ram, sometimes you go straight to them because you know. In fact, sometimes you have a relationship with them. You can call. Do you have this? They say, oh, you are welcome. So it's true you are coming to buy. But sometimes, even before the buying and selling, you can sit down. How are you? How are your children? How is everything? You will even have nicknames. A day will come, you will sit down there and not talk about buying and selling. Because your relationship now is beyond what you are buying. What God is looking for, ladies and gentlemen, please hear me believers. God does not just want people who just prostitutes themselves around him. Come and pick miracle. Come and pick breakthrough. Come and pick healing. Come and pick this. God, I've had enough. Let me run. Eh? When I have a problem, I, I, I'm telling you, even if I don't know you, I know a man of God who knows you. And God says, I will love you because love is my nature. God does not have love. He is love. And he cannot deny himself. However, there is a more excellent way. When he becomes your God. So that is, you don't have to wait until a koinonia service alone. Right there where you are. In your room. You can tell him, Lord, I thank you for your servant. But I also know that you are my God. When you meet Jesus, the first thing he gives you is not a miracle. Like a physical miracle. 
The first thing he gives you is not money, not cars, not a job. He offers himself. You can reject him. He will still respect your choice. This is the marvelous thing about him. You can say, Jesus, I'm not here for you. Just give me the job that I hear you can give me. And he says, well, I will give you because I love you. But is this all you want? I, I was preaching somewhere, I think it was in Enugu, and I was giving them an illustration. Imagine, for instance, let's say, for example, you have been calling me since yesterday. Apostle, I need to see you. It's an urgent issue. And I said, what is the issue? Say, I must see you. Imagine that you walk up to me, and all of a sudden, your attention is on my shoe or on my cloth. And I'm saying, okay, I'm here. And then, no, no, no. When I said I wanted to see you, it was not really you. I wanted to see your clothes through you. It's your cloth that I'm interested in. And you keep looking at the cloth and say, Taylor, just um, get this measurement. That's all I really want. Imagine the disappointment. All that call is just because you wanted something and not the person. So we pray and fast, God, come now. And when he shows up, we say, no, not your face. Just where is your hand? That's where I'm looking for. I hear that at your right hand there are pleasures. I don't want the left. Give me the right hand quickly. Let me get the pleasures and be on my way. It may look very funny, but Jesus is speaking to many of us right now. Believe in the Lord, your God. Believe in the Lord, your God. You have believed in the Lord, but can He become your God? You have come with pain. You have come with all kinds of issues. Many of us have written, you know, we've been having this miracle service for years, but there is no single month. Ministry has taught me that there is no exhaustion to the reality of human needs. Even if you were to hold a miracle service every day, you will still have people. That means when we say, if you have come for this week, don't come again. You will still see people as though they never received from God. Because the needs of people keep increasing. As one problem is solved, the devil now tries to come to cause another problem again. Just when you are celebrating, then he tries to bring sickness. Just when you are celebrating, then he tries to bring something else. But now, thanks be to God, which always causes us to triumph. I sense in my heart to make the altar call now. In this kingdom, you strike when the iron is hot. And now that the Holy Ghost has spoken to us, He needs to become your God. Now, can I be honest with you? There are many believers who are not serious with God. There are others who do not even believe Him. Some of you probably were invited by so many others. You are in the main auditorium. Some of you are down all of the overflows outside or following online. And you are saying, Apostle, I... I, I hope that this your God is really God. The Bible says you can taste and see that the Lord is good. You shouldn't just hear. You can, there can be an experience where you taste and see. Like going to a restaurant. You can see a publicity. This is a lovely meal. We make this. We make that. You can actually enter the restaurant. Order the food and taste. And then for yourself, tell whether they lied to you a man can taste and see that the lord is good can i tell you this many of you have struggled you have lived defeated lives anyone who does not have the immunity that his relationship with the lord jesus brings remains a perpetual victim of satan a perpetual victim of causes there is no hope for permanent deliverance for such an individual even if you administer the power of god the demons will live with speed because they know that there is no legal basis for the continuity of his freedom they will only wait for him and return back with joy the first ultimate and greatest deliverance the first ultimate and greatest healing the first ultimate and greatest prosperity is to come and receive this gift of himself god offers you himself i want to start a relationship with you here's what the bible says for god that same god so loved the world john 3 and verse 16 popular scripture that he gave his one and only 
John 3 16 his only begotten son that whosoever including you whosoever not some preacher not some whosoever believeth in him there is a law that that person should not perish listen you may be here and you may be the first person to make this decision some of you have had dreams where god has told you you are the one who he will raise to tear down these horns that have attempted to destroy god over your family let tonight be your night we will celebrate miracles signs and wonders but i need you to make this decision immediately for jesus i'm going to make an altar call wherever you are seated here under the sound of my voice in the main auditorium the galleries all the overflows down to the basement the overflow outside and those following online jesus christ is calling you listen you have a choice this is the beautiful thing about god he so loves you that he will not force you but can i tell you when love calls answer before power calls love calls power comes out of that love you are here and you are saying apostle if you will give me an opportunity i sincerely want to win that war tonight and then for some of you the devil is telling you with all that has happened in your life all that you have done all that your family has done do you think god will accept you he can always give you a new beginning and then there are people who are saying apostle i remember giving my life to jesus but as it is my life has gone haywire i need to rededicate my life i'm going to count one to five listen to me do not be ashamed if i tell you to come and collect a check here you will not ask whether your hair is in the right place or your shoe is in the right place run like there's fire on the mountain as i count one to five come to jesus one All the overflows. Please run to Jesus. Don't look at anyone. Don't worry about who is looking at you. Two. Apostle, I need Jesus, but I'm ashamed of the person who I came with. Please leave that person and come to Jesus. This is a matter of your life and your destiny. Koinonia, are you celebrating salvation? Young and old, rich and poor, come to Jesus. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry His presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me, mortal man. Awesome God, mortal man, awesome God. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry His presence everywhere. You are my, your mind is so full of me. Hey, I'm just a. But you are the awesome Come to Jesus. What a harvest. Celebrate Jesus. Young and old together. Hear me. The more people yield and genuinely hand over to the governing authority of Jesus the more a territory can be transformed. A territory does not just get transformed by giving people money to start skill acquisition. That is wonderful. But the problem of man is first a spiritual problem. The problem of man is not just a financial problem. The problem of man is not just an intellectual problem. The Bible, all religions as a matter of fact, it is in this one thing they agree, that the problem of man is rooted in the realm of the spirit. I salute every one of you for standing here. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Can I tell you this? Don't let the devil lie to you 
that Jesus cannot give you a new beginning. That's why he brought you here. I don't care how it has been. I don't care what you have done or not done. When you come to him, you see, rebels don't come to Jesus. Rebels run away from him. So that you have come before the throne of grace. The Bible says to boldly come that we may obtain grace and we may obtain mercy and find grace to help even in time of need. The only thing I'll ask you to do is that when you stand here, mean every prayer from the depth of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. Jesus is here. Someday when we meet in heaven, we'll celebrate one another and say, thank God you made this decision. If you're still joining them, please come quickly. In case you were thinking about it or you were still shy, join them, leave your seat and come very quickly. Don't worry, we'll not take time. When we pray, they'll just have your details and you return back and we'll be ready for the miracle service. Lift your right hand everywhere. Lift it high above your head. Let Jesus see that you are not joking. You mean business with him. Please say this after me. Say it loud and clear. Say, Lord Jesus. Jesus. One more time. Say, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Tonight, Tonight, I have heard your word. I I give upon myself. My ability to save myself is limited. Therefore, I hand over my life, my destiny to you. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you are the only Lord, Savior, and King. Therefore, I ask you to come into my heart, be my Savior, be my Lord, and be my King. I receive forgiveness of sin. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that from today, I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you now. Some of you are crying. Let me tell you, everybody who takes God seriously... It will take you seriously. Anyone who claims that he did not make this prayer, whether in the room or in the church, is not born again. If you are born again, you must have made this prayer at one time in your life. You don't naturally inherit salvation. You must make this. You don't wish salvation. You don't assume salvation. There is something called the assurance of salvation. Father, thank you for these precious ones. You have brought them, oh God. Some of them are the ones you have anointed to be the deliverers of their family. Some of them have gone through all kinds of pain and disappointment. Lord, some of them have come here tonight as their last resort. They have come trusting you. They have come believing that only you can save. Some of them have tried all kinds of options. They have tried friends. They have tried all kinds of things. And it has failed them. But they have come to you. He says, this is eternal life that they may know you. The one true God. And Jesus, his son. They have declared, and according to the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. I declare that the power of sin, of Satan, of hell, and of the grave is broken from your life. Satan, take your hands off their lives and their destinies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take your hands off their lives and their destinies. From tonight, I declare that you go forward ever. And backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us in that we can be called the children of God. I declare that you are sons and daughters of light. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please look up. All of you, I want you, there are a number of you counselors. Let's be very fast because we are going to start praying. I want you to just um, go to my right, which is your left. You will see the counselors just waving the placard. Please follow them, cooperate with them. They will have your details just for a few minutes and you will return to your seat and join us as we pray. Let's celebrate them. All the overflows, the same thing. Zaria also is connecting. Zaria, make sure you are doing the same thing right now. Those who 
have made this prayer listen please if you made this prayer perhaps you are in your home your office wherever just following from your device it doesn't matter you can use the email that you find online there and let us know that you just gave your heart to jesus christ and there will be a few people who will just follow you and follow up on you let's celebrate them in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now here's what we'll do we'll give them a few minutes usually i make this altar call at the end of the service but i just felt strong in my spirit so what will happen please if we need a few people to join the council also we'll make it very fast let's make it very very fast so that they can come and join us because we need to pray fire is about to fall in this place and in the name of jesus god is in a hurry to change your life god is in a hurry to wipe your tears hallelujah can we pray for a few minutes please rise up let's pray you are here moving in this place i worship you i worship you you are here turning lives around i worship you i worship you we call you way maker miracle walk from this keep light in the darkness that is who you are we call you there. Promise keeper, light in the darkness. One more time. I call you. Miracle one. Promise keeper, light in the darkness. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. Please shout it after me. You can give them the mic. Help me, guys. Maybe two or three mics. Just give them. We can have it back. Say in the name of Jesus. One more time. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that every planting that is not of God in and around my life in and around my destiny be destroyed right now lift your voice and start praying <laughs> Are you praying? Every planting that is not of God in and around my life, in and around my destiny, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. 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 I'd like you to pray. He says, as for me and my house. Listen, whether your family members are here or not, you are going to stand in faith with them. Lord, as you are visiting me, wherever they are across this room, let the power of God reach them. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Hey, <laughs> 
As for me and my house, 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 Hallelujah. 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 James chapter 4 and verse 3. Apostle James is schooling us in prayer. And he's saying that there is a possibility that men can ask and yet not receive. And he tells us why. Because ordinarily, everyone that asks should receive. But he's saying there exists a possibility that you can ask and still not receive. He says, because you ask amiss. You ask amiss. Amiss means out of patterns. And the pattern is give us this day. You can't say give me everything. You must mention what you desire. He said, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest them, and thou shalt have them. What things soever ye desire. No assumptions. Give us this day our daily bread. Are you ready to pray? You are going to open your mouth and mention everything or every area you need a visitation. No assumption. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Lift your voice and pray. No assumption. No assumption. It is feeling in your body, declare it. It is a yoke that has sat upon your destiny, declare it. Hallelujah. 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 Now, here's how we do it here. Please listen. Whilst, whilst I begin to minister, for the sake of time, we have so many things to do this night. And I don't intend to keep us here beyond our normal time. So let me advise you up front, if you are yet to write your prayer request, we have a structure here that somewhere... Um, as we as the meeting is ongoing we we'll collate all the requests even those online you can do well to just send in your prayer requests and we'll pray so if you're yet to do that please do that number two if a word comes now please hear this i need to tell us this it doesn't mean that if a prophetic word does not come carrying your name or carrying descriptions that directly relate to you it doesn't mean God is not speaking to you. You see, the way God works is that what He says to one, He says to all. So if, for instance, God is speaking over someone who is trusting God for the fruit of the womb, even though it is that particular case I may want to see here, but it doesn't mean that every other person cannot connect. Are we together now? If God is speaking concerning maybe captivity over a family, and then... If a prophetic word directly relates to you, please do well to save us time 
by coming. At least or indicate if you are not within this auditorium so that we know. These are some of the things that take away so much time. It's not a vigil, so we're limited. Are we together? There's a lot we have to do. We have to pray uh, for the sick. We have to minister deliverance and so on and so forth. But I'd like you to believe that this will be your miracle service. That this will be your miracle service. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, I'm, I'm really sensing, and, and it's a very strange way, but I'm sensing that God wants to begin tonight by ministering to those who are in ministry, ministers of the gospel, those who are currently in ministry, and this is what, this is what the Holy Spirit is ministering to me. There are people who have churches, there are some of you who have groups. And for some, they just came for greater levels of fire. You don't have to come out. I want to pray for you. And for some of you, you have the call of God upon your life, but you do not even know. And the Holy Ghost has been looking for you. Some of you, you are the ones destined to lift your family. And God has been speaking to you. This is the miracle service where He finally finds you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I pray right now for everyone who is in ministry and has not been producing the kind of results that the Bible says should follow. Or those who have the genuine call of God upon their lives. Please, I want you to bring those under the anointing as I pray this prayer. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, I stretch my hands. May fire from heaven rest upon individuals. Let there be an ignition from the realm of the spirit. Young and old, inside and outside. I count three. One, two, three. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. Please bring them out very quickly. Take that fire now. In the name of Jesus. Any church that is not growing. Any man of God who is struggling in ministry. I bring you the power of the Holy Ghost. Here at this miracle service. In the name of Jesus Christ intercessory groups all kinds of platforms that don't seem to be working in the name of jesus some of you your ministries to your families there are altars that god is raising you to fight and tear down i decree and declare young and old may that power come upon you in the name of jesus may that power come upon you in the name of Jesus, may that power come upon you. In the name of Jesus, may that power come upon you. In the name of Jesus, ministry with evidence, ministry with proof. Go and be a deliverer with fire. Go and be a deliverer. It doesn't matter what yoke has sat upon your destiny and your families. I decree and declare right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, let there be that impartation of grace impartation of fire upon you impartation of power upon you prophetic ministries prophetic ministries prophetic ministries multiplied visions prophetic ministries particularly prophetic ministries whatever has beclouded your vision so that you don't see again so that you don't hear again receive fire upon your destiny fire upon your destiny the hearing ear the seeing eye the hearing ear the seeing eye in the name of jesus <laughs> Let there be an ignition by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Lord is speaking to me about prophetic ministries. 
all of you who are out here i decree and declare according to the word of the lord step into the grace that has been apportioned for you in the name of jesus step into that grace step into that grace right now by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah now alongside these people there are a group of people i want to pray for please hear me the bible says saviors shall come out of zion can i tell you every family every territory has men and women who have been selected god wants to permeate families and bring deliverance but there are individuals that god must find wherever they are here if you are the one anointed and ordained that god will raise you to wipe the tears of your family wherever you are under the sound of my voice at the bakato at the count of three may god locate you it's time for your family to arise may god locate you may god locate you young and old saviors arise by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ arise 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 in the name of jesus it has nothing to do with gender male or female if god has raised you whether you are a gideon or deborah may the power of god come upon you in the name of jesus christ all of you in front i declare by the power of the holy ghost let it be a new season for you now let it be a new season for you now let it be a new season for you now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please let them go back to their seats quickly if they can let them go back to their seats I want to pray a very serious prayer right now this is a miracle service and the prayer i'm about to pray is a major prayer can i tell you this truly truly causes are real truly yokes are real embargoes are real yes the power of god is there to deliver but it does not happen automatically this is why you are here i want you to pay attention there are patterns i will never stop praying this prayer there are families under the sound of my voice the same thing everybody faces in the family if it's retrogression it happens to everybody if it's delayed it happens to everybody right now i want to pray at the count of three whether you are inside or outside i like you to shout that name jesus and as you shout the power of the holy ghost will rest marvelously upon you there are spirits that will not let destinies go free great people some of you have traveled abroad and even returned back nothing is changing my bible says therefore god has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name that at the mention of that name every family here having any charm or any cause or any ordinance any fraternity with darkness at the count of three may the fire of the holy ghost land upon that family are you ready to shout at the count of three one two three shout jesus right now yokes causes i break causes generational causes patterns of darkness be destroyed now be destroyed now be destroyed now bring them out be destroyed now in the name of jesus every spirit that will not let you go i decree and declare be delivered now in the matchless name of jesus please bring them out quickly Help the ushers, whether you are an usher or not, please help them. Hallelujah. We are still praying. We are still praying.
the Lord is delivering many, many, many people right now. Every altar that is sitting on anybody's life, yokes that will not let you go. Some of you have dreams. You go to bed in the night and hear this oppression comes. Right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, may that fire locate you wherever you are. Hallelujah. Please pay attention. There is a marvelous work that God is doing here. Mana shalas koban de bradi galekusia. Ekro sadibalas kadibalandosia. There are some of you, your oppressions have come in dreams. You go to bed in the night and all kinds of dreams. Going back to secondary schools, writing exams that don't finish, eating all kinds of things, fraternizing with dead spirits. Right now at the count of three, Makatos Kata, anyone's destiny under the siege of dreams, I declare at the count of three, shout Jesus again. One, two, three. Let there be deliverance right now. Let there be deliverance right now. Let there be deliverance right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be broken by the blood of the Lamb. Be broken by the blood of the Lamb. Be broken by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Mabel. Mabel, like M-A-B-E-L. Is there someone like that? We have to hurry up because I want to pray for the sick. I'm hearing a name, Mabel. Mabel. You are wearing something like her tie. It's like lime or it's, I don't know what color it is. Is there someone like that? Mabel. What's your name? Where are you from? Is the mic working? Hallelujah. What's your name? Mabel. Huh? Mabel. You are Mabel. You are Mabel too. Who is from Cross River? I want to pray for you. Where are you from? Pastor. Where in Cross River? Okay. I want to pray for you. Because I'm looking at you and I'm seeing fire. And the Lord wants to bring deliverance to your family. You believe that? I want to pray for you. There's an elderly woman now. I'm seeing the power of God come on that elderly woman. You are not young. I'm seeing the power of God come on you. The Lord is bringing salvation to your family. Your prayer has been your children in the name of Jesus. I don't know who that person is, but right now, I'm seeing power from heaven. Please bring the person here. Malas my sister, let me pray for you very quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree over your life and over your family, everything that has a connection to ancestry, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be gone right now. Let it be gone right now. It will not follow you to your marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be gone right now. In the name of Jesus and to you, please just help them, make sure they don't injure themselves. To you, the other lady, Mabel, I stretch my hands in Jesus' name. Let there be a supernatural visitation for your family. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that everything that is not the planting of the Lord, let it give way right now. In the name of Jesus, let it give way right now. In the name of Jesus, let it give way right now. Bring for me the person who shouts now in this main auditorium, loud under the power of God. I just heard that sound in my spirit, a loud shout. This lady, there's a lady, that, that lady placing her hand on her neck. Please tap her for me, lift your hands. 
I'm seeing fire coming on you. And the Lord is saying he's removing everything that stands as a barrier. I don't know what it is, but right now, let that fire come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That barrier is over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. That embargo is lifted now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Is there someone with the name Jumai? I'm hearing a name Jumai. Jumai, this is what I'm hearing. Please, if that is not your name, please don't come out. Please, let's, everybody will be touched. Let's hurry up. Because I want, Jumai, who is that? Is there someone with such a name? Jumai, this is what I'm hearing. That, that's a northern, most likely. Please verify, make sure that you... Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Hallelujah The power of God is coming on a businessman now I've seen that everything has failed this year you are into real estate or so this is what I'm real estate or something that has to do with land and construction but I'm seeing the power of God rest upon you now and the Lord is saying he's rewriting your story he's rewriting your story I don't know where that person is but may the power of the Holy Spirit touch you right now wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ wherever please help him wherever you are in the name of jesus let this be the beginning of a new season this man come you this man please come god is about to change your life come what do you do what do you do i'm into real estate you are into real estate stand here god is about to change your life my friend you believe in miracles believe oh please believe in the name of jesus i stretch my hands oh there is something called a prophetic advantage and in the name of jesus by the privilege of god's grace i stretch my hands and i declare may the power of the holy spirit shift you to a new season shift you to a new season every limitation connected to what you do god who located you and i'm using him as a point of contact if there is anyone here that has been grounded in business that the only thing you see is shame and reproach may that embargo be broken now let it be broken now hallelujah why are they here okay i'm going to pray for you why is he here sir who brought him out here your name is jumai or you just came out on your own it's okay i'll pray with you no problem it's all ah Sir, look at me. Don't be ashamed. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Let it be over now. Keep him there. In the name of Jesus, every oppression and every yoke over your life, now, I'm seeing something that looks like I'm seeing a serpent all around this man. I declare right now, The power of God is coming on one of you right now. I just saw like light. Cabrande. Jesus Christ. God is visiting an ancient altar. This is what I'm seeing. Let it be broken right now. Now, the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be broken by the power of the Holy Spirit. For every one of you who has come out here, I'm seeing the Lord bringing, I'm seeing this map I always see now, and I'm seeing Nasarawa State, Nasarawa State, the power of God is visiting families from Nasarawa State. This is what I'm saying. I stretch my hands right now. The power of God is going to begin to come upon families. There are yokes connected to those regions. I declare right now, every altar. Let there be deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverance right now 
in the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverance right now. I break those yokes. I break those yokes in the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who are here, madam, please lift your hands. Look at me. Shame and reproach. That's what I'm hearing. And reproach. Let it leave you now. Never to return to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, where are you coming from? Who is... Huh? Kogi State. Hmm. Did you come here alone? Yes, sir. You came here alone. Whatever connects you to the dead, dead, like dead people, I'm praying this, and this is not just for her. I'm seeing the number one seven, that everything that connects people to dead people, they come to you in your dreams. When you are sleeping, calling you, they won't let you rest. This is the spirit of death over families. I'm, I'm going to pray for you, Mama, but I'm using it as a point of contact. Please take what I'm saying seriously. If there is anyone here or any family here appointed unto death, right now I declare, as I'm praying for our mother here, may that, that arrow that has been sent to that family, let it return back to any devil that sent it. Let it return. Let it return to every devil that sent it. Let it return to every devil that sent it. Let it return to every devil that sent it. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, Mama. Right now, I stretch my hands. Let there be a miracle. I separate you from the spirit of death. In the name of Jesus. And all of you who are in front here, for whatever reason you are out, in Jesus' name, may God give you a visitation. May God give you a visitation by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, I sense such a strong healing anointing. I know that God wants to really, really heal the sick. We'll hurry up so that we'll start ministering to the sick. But I want to pray. Please stop this woman for me. This mama. Please don't be embarrassed, man. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Please stand up, stand up. The Lord wants to remove reproach. Where are you coming from, ma? Don't, don't cry, madam. Don't worry. You are, you are here before the Lord. You see, sometimes you may not know what kind of oppression people go through. You see people laughing, clapping hands, lifting holy hands. But there are people who are standing, it's like they are standing on hot coals while they worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you, madam. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. You were going and the Lord said I should stop you. I declare that shame and reproach over your family and over your own life. The spirit, I want to pray here. There is a spirit that makes people to be misunderstood. Where your evil becomes good, your good becomes evil or there are people here, it has happened to many people even in their workplace. You do good things, but people misinterpret what you are doing. You know, when Bishop Oyedeko started ministry of Father and the Lord, this is what he said. That one time they were praying and the church was not growing. And he said, the Lord asked them, please help those under the anointing. It's a serious prayer I want to pray now. He said that the Holy Spirit asked him to come out and he stood and he looked up and in a vision he saw a thick layer of darkness. And he said, this is the blindfolding demon that misunderstands what you are doing. And he says, now rebuke it. And he rebuked it and it folded and went and he produced a poster. He said, come and see. And that was it. I want to pray for someone here. The Bible says, do not let your good be evil spoken of. I pray for you. If there is any manipulation over your destiny that makes every good thing you do to be misunderstood, I break that spirit from off your life now. I cut that spirit away from your destiny now. In the name of Jesus Christ.
in the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I declare this is your, don't cry, this is your liberty right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a family, my God. Ah, you are the only child, not like maybe male or female, you are the only child in that family. And I'm seeing the spirit of hardship. The Lord wants to bring deliverance to that family right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I don't know who that is. If, if, if there is someone like that, please let me know. I want to pray for you. You are, you are the only child. Only child. You are the only child. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Only child. I want to pray. In the name of Jesus. Please stretch your hands towards me. I decree and declare. The embargo of hardship and suffering. And everything that has kept your... Please make sure you are coming out for this situation this situation don't just come out at random i stretch my hands right now and i decree and declare honestly the power of god is coming on you in the mighty name of jesus every connection with yokes of ancestry let it be broken now 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 every yoke sitting on your destiny that you will not move forward. I prophesy to you, advance in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Only child. Advance in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Can you imagine? Only child, everyone here. I'm praying. Let them go. Release their destinies now. I'm praying for everybody, but there are two people particularly here in front I'm praying this prayer for. Release their destinies right now. Release their destinies right now. Release your destinies right now in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. Release your destinies right now. Everything holding you down, tying you down, be delivered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let this be permanent in your life. And I pray for you, out of you that looks like you are the only one, may nations arise. 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 In the name of Jesus. Please return back to your seat. Let's pray for the sick now. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah 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 Please look up Many years ago I'm about to pray for the sick I was caught up in the realm of the spirit and I had a vision. It was like it was locked down. And when I was there, I saw people who were very sick. People who, some of them were lying down, stretchers. And when I looked at it, a voice spoke to me from that vision. And it says, go and heal them all. And from that time till forever, God has not left himself a witness. Please hear me. Some of you are standing here for yourself. You are standing here for your loved ones. 
I want you to believe that God is a miracle worker. Within the few minutes we have, here's what we are going to do very quickly. Some of you already, this mass ministration has brought all kinds of healing for you. And even notable miracles. Everywhere, this is a miracle service. As I pray for you and rebuke that sickness, here's what I want you to do. Be bold to do what you could not do before. And the moment you find out that there is a miracle for you, don't be ashamed, don't be afraid. I want you to quickly, quickly make your way, whether you are up the gallery, whether you are around. In fact, some of you, as you check yourself now, probably I administered to you and you found out that there is a miracle happening to you. I'd like you to come and stand either by my left here or by my right. And whilst we are doing that concurrently, please, I'd like you to pass your prayer request to the last person at the aisle, whether left or right. And then PR uh, um, or, or ushers, all the officials, please do well. Make sure that you collate them and let's have it very quickly. Let me just give you a minute to tidy up your prayer request and then you stand up and we'll pray for the sick. We'll pray for the sick. Very quickly. You can take the second half if you are yet to receive your uh, a form or if you are done, just pass it to the person. Do it believing, do it believing that God is visiting you. Please pass it to the last person. Can you arise? I want to pray for the sick now. Please let's be upstanding. Thank you for your patience. We want to pray for the sick now. I believe in miracles. I have experienced the healing power of Jesus myself in my own life. Please lay your hands right now. Those who are watching from your homes, this is a time to receive. He is healer. Lay your hands everywhere you are trusting God for a miracle. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. If you are standing in for someone or with someone, go ahead and make that contact. Everywhere, outside, make sure you participate. Please believe God for healing of anything and everything. Now unto the one upon the throne We raise a sound We raise a sound For you are God and God alone Hallelujah Hallelujah Father, you anointed us to be extensions of your healing power to the nations. And right now, I pray over your people. Many have come desiring to receive. Many have come desiring to be healed of all kinds of diseases and sicknesses. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and even with power. And it says he went about doing good and healing they that were oppressed. Right now I decree and declare, everyone here who is oppressed, I command the spirit that is back of any infirmity to be gone now in the name of Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus. I declare be healed in Jesus name. My God, already I'm seeing the Lord heal someone's, someone's limbs. I don't know if you're on a wheelchair or you're on crutches, but a miracle is happening right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be healing for you right now. Let there be healing for you right now. Let there be healing for you right now. I decree and declare, pain on the head, severe migraines, the Lord is healing right now. Pain around the joint areas, all around the arm, 
in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle right now. Now hear me. Every cancer, cancer or any kind of cancerous growth, we curse you now in the name of Jesus. HIV AIDS, be healed in the name of Jesus. Everyone who cannot see, in the name of Jesus, partial or total blindness, I command that eyes to open now in Jesus' name. Anyone who cannot walk, I decree and declare, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let life and strength come upon your limbs now in Jesus' name. There are many people connected from several hospitals. I decree and declare, in the name of Jesus, let the power of God from here through the airwaves, let it come upon you and bring you life. Heart palpitations, be healed in the name of Jesus. Growths around the body, anywhere around the body, we command you to give way right now in Jesus' name. There's someone, you are having severe pain. You've gone to the hospital. It's like they said something is happening to your, I don't know if it's your nerves or just the bones around your spine. Right now, I'm declaring to you, let the healing power of Jesus touch you now. Someone, you have like a skin infection. I'm seeing several things are happening around your skin. It's not necessarily lack of hygiene. Is that something has happened? I don't know some demonic thing. I declare, let there be healing for you right now. The Lord is showing me people just the throat area. It looks like you swallowed something, but it has refused to pass down, and it's terribly discomforting. The power of God is touching you right now. Every pain around the chest area be healed right now. There's, there's a lady, the power of God is touching a lady. You have a lump, in fact, multiple lumps on the left side of your breast. But as I'm praying for you, the power of God is touching you right now. That devil leaves your body forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ha, huh. this is interesting. The Lord is healing a man of impotency. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be supernatural healing for you right now. Let there be supernatural healing for you right now. Regardless the medical report, we change it now. In the name of Jesus. Someone's left ear. Someone's left ear. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Lord is speaking to me that there is someone you are having the early stages of prostrate, prostrate cancer. You are a man. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, wherever you are, let there be healing for you right now. Let there be healing for you right now. Movement around the body. I'm seeing someone having movement. Sometimes you literally feel like something is moving around your body. Help them please. Help her. I command that devil to leave you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. What is that condition where you cannot sleep? In the name of Jesus Christ. Apnea. Sleep apnea. I'm seeing at least three people having that condition, just rolling, rolling on the bed, but never getting to sleep. You are unable to sleep, even if it's for an hour. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, whether in this auditorium or outside, I declare, be healed right now. Be healed right now. Someone just around your wrist, the Lord is bringing a miracle for you. I don't know if it's that you... Was it a, 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 some kind of injury or whatever it is? I want you to check it right now. The power of the Holy Spirit is stepping upon you. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone who has like malaria or typhoid. You've treated it again and again and it has refused to go. In fact, you came here feeling so sick. Right now, I'm praying for you. May the power of the Holy Spirit touch you where you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, any pain around 
the bone region, whether neck, hand, the, the waist area, I declare, may the power of the Holy Spirit touch you right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Someone you are having a problem with your nostrils. It's like you don't smell completely or it's that you don't smell well. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am praying for you. May the power of the Holy Spirit rest upon you now. There's someone's child here. I'm seeing like, like, it looks like bipolar. You know, acting as like madness. Sometimes a person just begins to talk. I don't know who that person is. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be healing for that person right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be healing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a miracle right now by the power of the Holy Spirit and any condition whether I mention it or not in the name of Jesus the Son of the Living God be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now the Lord is showing me I'm seeing someone your child has autism autism in the name of Jesus Christ I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, may the anointing rest upon that child right now. Let there be a supernatural miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing like a picture of a woman's womb. And instead of seeing a child there, I'm seeing like a big mass. I'm not a doctor, just resting there. In the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what is the name of what is there. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, we command that devil to go out of that womb now. We command that devil to leave that womb now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore be healed from the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus name. Someone, your uncle, your uncle, I don't know, it's like you had a problem with your uncle. As I'm praying, check it now. You will see that that devil has gone. The pain is gone completely. Now, please check yourself. You find out there is a miracle. I want you to run right now. Miracles are happening everywhere. Please, if they are coming to testify, allow them whether they are coming from outside. Are you celebrating? Make your way to the front right now. The power of God is touching people. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do before. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. A miracle is happening there. Are you celebrating what God is doing? Huh. Check yourself. Don't sit back. The moment you find out Mama has been healed, something has happened to Mama. Are you celebrating Jesus? more people are coming the lord is touching people please check yourself check yourself check yourself there's there's someone i was i saw this when i was praying i'm still seeing it i don't know if it's that you could not use your left leg um it's like i don't know if it's that you cannot walk well or you could not walk completely but i'm seeing the lord heal that person wherever you are check yourself if you are seated or you're on a crutch stand up and trust god for healing Stand up, check yourself right now. Koinoni, are you celebrating what Jesus is doing? Hallelujah. We are going to take, please sit down for a few minutes. We will take a few, a few testimonies right now. Very quickly to the glory of the name of the Lord. Please let me know when you are ready so that we will hurry up. God is healing people. Supernatural healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. This man, what is that on your neck? It's a collar. Huh? You don't, you, your neck does not, you, you feel pain. Huh? Or you can't move your neck. Huh? It gravity. Let a doctor help us explain this or I don't know what it is. Okay, my neck gravitates to the left. When, Gra I try, when I try to move it to the right, it goes back to the left. It doesn't move. So it goes back to the left. 
when, oh, when you move, the neck moves back. Yeah, Dave, what is that? Yes, it's called torticollis. Yes, it's called torticollis. It's the spasm of the neck. It's, no matter what he does, it goes back to um, the intended position. Oh, it doesn't stay. It doesn't stay. Can I pray for you? Place your hand there. Carry your collar. Come with it. Someone help him. Where are you coming from, sir? Where are you coming from? From Abuja? Yeah. Place your hand there. Father, in the name of Jesus, I don't know what this is called, but I know it is demonic. In the name of Jesus, right now, I stretch my hands. Let there be a miracle for you. You see, something is happening to you. I'm seeing like fire just rest upon you. I wouldn't have called you except that I sensed that a miracle was happening to you. I cursed that devil now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know how long it has been, but right now I declare, let there be a supernatural miracle over your neck. In the name of Jesus. Sir, look at me. Look at me. Just place your hand there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Look at this. Keep it there. Keep it there. Keep it there. Turn. Keep it there. Look at this. Hallelujah. 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 Stop. Stand up. Do it again. Move left. Don't be afraid. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Oh, come on. Hallelujah eh. Hallelujah eh. In the name of Jesus Christ Sir, please look at me I want you to believe in miracles Don't let the devil make you think you are just acting This is why not acting movies here In the name of Jesus Christ I declare that what has happened to you now It remains permanent In the name of Jesus Christ Please return to your seat rejoicing. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. So, please come. Very quickly, so, yes. Apostle, you gave a word of knowledge for, you know, people with problems with their wrists. With their wrists. Yes. So, these four people we're having here. Check, check yourself. Let's see it. Any pain? How long has it been for you? How, what of you? Two months. Four years plus. Four years plus. Check it now. Any pain? It's completely gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare it remains permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. Permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, sir. So you also gave a word of knowledge regarding people with pains in their neck, their back, and, and the waist. How long? Okay. It's been four years because I saw and it comes once in a while. I even forgot that the pain was there. I was standing in the gap for my family. Okay. And I began to feel heat sensation when you declared the pain. I began to feel the heat. So, I, 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 I can, before now, I can't bend. Bend now. Bend now. Any pain. Come on, Koinonia. Any pain. In the name of Jesus, I declare it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. So, everyone here have one or you know, two different situations of pain in their body. Okay, please pain. Come, All of you forward. here. Please come forward. Just bring them forward here. Where is... Okay, I will listen to all, but I want to listen to that mama's testimony. That, that, that our mother, I want to know what happened to her. In the name of Jesus, all of you here, please lift your hands. Every pain, whether around your joint, wherever it is, the miracle that has happened to you, the power of God is coming on one of you. I just saw light right now on one of you 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be the end of it. Because yours is not just pain. This is witchcraft. I command that devil to go never to return again. In the name of Jesus. I bless you. You are healed. You are healed forever. In Jesus name. Yes please. Yes, sir. Apostle, Mama here has had challenge with her knee. For over four years she could not fold Your knee. Her Let her talk. Yes. She couldn't fold for the past four years. She went to the hospital. Before, before I can fold my legs. Please help us with the mic. Today I can fold it. You can't before. fold your legs. Before. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Any pain? No. Look no. at this. Completely. For the past four years, sir. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Go ahead. Very quickly. Movement in our body for the past five years. He says something snake he moves around. So when you mention the case, she touched her stomach and her chest, then she fell under the anointing and now she's sound and whole. Where are you from? Lagos. Lagos. State of origin? Ogun State. In the name of Jesus, that devil leaves you now, never to return to you again. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, this please. This boy has had kidney issues for years, so he couldn't breathe very well. When you mentioned the case, he fell under the anointing and now he, he couldn't can breathe. breathe very well. Now he can My breathe. My friend, breathe. Breathe in. <laughs> Look how determined he is. Breathe in and out. In the name of Jesus Christ, he will never, never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Spinal pain for the past two years. He said he couldn't turn his neck and he could not stand for long. But the power of God came upon him. Now the pain is gone. You, you, what do you mean you couldn't? I was always having discomfort. I can't find a Do what you couldn't do before. You couldn't do this before. Lift your hands. Stretch like you are stretching. Any pain. It's gone completely. In Jesus' name we declare it will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Okay, we are still on. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, this is God's miracle upon the two mamas we have here. Hallelujah. Speak in house, any language you can go ahead. Speak in it. Mefari and Zuama. Yanzuna Dinshi, Soki and Kigudu. Run. Oh, look at this. She's complaining that she, for a long time, she couldn't sell because of a pain on her limb, and now it's gone completely. It will never return to you, Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and excel. And I pray, in addition to this, may God prosper you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Yes, please. Let's celebrate God for her. Similarly, Mama also has okay. been having this problem for more than a year. Praise the Lord. This leg, since uh, the COVID-19 lockdown, around March, I've been having these pains. I, can, I don't go out. I have it. If my husband is not going to church, I will not go to church because I cannot climb bike. But you can't climb bike? No, I can't climb back. I see my leg now. Yes. <laughs> Come on, are you celebrating what Jesus has done? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never, never return to you, Mama. You are healed now. You are healed forever. In Jesus' name. Let's celebrate her. Yes, please. Apostle, a very interesting case. She has a very strange condition. Well, I'm not a medical person, so I will not attempt to explain. <laughs> but, okay, so we have a medical person here, and I think... Okay, go ahead. Praise the Lord, sir. She just told me now that she used to have conjection in her chest. And she has to have conjection in her chest. So okay. she's able to breathe very well. Okay. Her lungs will be congested and all that. Then her BP is always high. So her blood pressure is always high. Yes. Okay. To confirm that, I asked her, can I go and bring our BP apparatus to confirm if it has actually gone down? She said yes. So I went to bring it. So I had checked the BP now. It has gone up. I will have shown the camera. It was 129 to what what used to read 150, 100 and above before. Wow. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare, let there be a miracle for you right now. Your BP returns back to normal in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes, please. So, Apostle, we have a very strange miracle here. Hmm. Um, so, please, my God. Praise the Lord. My name is Remy Akinso, a politician. Oh. Um, so, with the last um, miracle here. Miracle service. I came. Then I found out that I was healed. I, was, I didn't. I didn't even think about it. 
I could walk now. My son was trying to video my everything. He was surprised. This is how the starts because he doesn't believe in all this one. Or Com- I went from South Africa, I said, yes, it is. But the third day after the healing, I started having that feeling again. Then I said, what, what is that? So I called my son in South Africa who said, Mommy, your house is must still have something that is not uh, of God. Hmm. So maybe it's in dust or something. But this today, today, yes. when I came, I was telling the, my neighbor who sat with me, I'm not sure. I have to walk out, walk about, and try and stretch my body. And then make sure that I'm not. And, and right now, what happened to you, Mama? I feel stronger. Hmm. Just a minute, Apostle, maybe just to jump in here. She actually had what they call a motor skill disorder. Her body begins to tremble. So, in fact, for her, that was a shock. So, her body shakes, and um, I think. Like, like Parkinson's? Yes. Or? Yes. So, um, I feel okay. Wow. But I can dance for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. I hope I'm, I'm not mistaken. The. One time, governorship, governorship aspirant in Lagos. Oh, I'm so, my God. <laughs> Truly, oh, she stopped shaking. <laughs> Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry we didn't recognize to honor you. May God bless you, ma. And even in politics, may God take you to the heights you desire. We declare that this devil of shaking all around your body as it has stopped now, it stops forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's celebrate her. Amen. Okay. Yes. Apostle, Mama has had lump in her abdomen for two years. Let now. us speak. Now, the one strange thing about this is that the lump sucks her blood. So every time they give her blood, the, the Lord will suck Please let us speak. Uh, for the last, since 2018. Is, is this I the best lo- of the sound? Please help us. Since 2018, I was losing weight. And I went to my doctor. They found out that my blood level was low. And my stomach was hurting. There was a big lump and it always hurt me. So when they give me blood... The blood will high, and then the following day it will go back down. So, and then I had heart problem, and then I was operated on my lungs because my blood was so low. So, where I determined that I must come here, and that's why I wore two piece. So that I said, when they were talking about this, I will put my hand on my stomach, and as I put my hand on my stomach on this side, and as the apostle was praying. The Holy Spirit fell on me, and I felt the heat all over me, and now the pain is gone. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, it will never return to you again. And the Lord is taking away the spirit of death completely from your family. Where is your husband? In 2017. Where is your son? He passed. I have my oldest son passed away in 2011. Every spirit that kills the men in your life, I use as a point of contact to pray. Whatever will make people suffer, and when it's time for them to stay, they die. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse that spirit now. And, and my and my. Son passed in 2013. How many sons do you have left? One. Out of? Out of three sons. The oldest and the youngest. In the name of Jesus. Mama, don't worry. That one son we have, may God make him equal to ten sons together. That one son you have. We are standing as a family here to pray for you. That in the name of Jesus, you may not seem to have a husband. And all the sons that should take care of you in old age may have gone. But if the son is here or maybe he's following online, we are praying for you. May God give you the strength of ten sons. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, ma'am. 
God bless you. Let's celebrate very quickly. Get word of knowledge of love in the breast. Ten years long in the breast. The ten breast, years. Ten years done. Disappeared, confirmed by the medical person. Please let her talk. Um, praise God. Hallelujah. It's on my left breast. I've, I've had it counting, I think, either ten years or more. Okay. I've, I've run the checks on it. They found in the hospital, but you mentioned it and shortly afterwards I, I was able to put my hands in my clothes and I don't completely it's gone in the name of Jesus Christ where are you coming from here in Abuja I live in Abuja in the name of Jesus Christ I declare it will never return to you again madam it will never return to you again in Jesus name uh, let's see how many yes sir let's see how many we can take so more. apostle we need to hear this um, we need to get this one. So, sir, I can't explain the, there was the name, the medical terminology. You know, these one. medical people, they frustrate us sometimes. You just stand and they call something that looks like um, a whole verse. Okay, Apostle, the mother has lumbar spondylosis. Oh, I know that one. That yes. demonic thing that stops people from, I know yes. that one. For the past five years. So they've been trusting God and believing God for a miracle. Though the mother uses a lumbar corset. So okay. in the course of the service, he called them and asked them to connect in faith. And now the mother can do what she could not do. Ah. No more corset. From where? She where is your bed. mother now? She's at home. She's at home. She, in Abuja yes, here? Sir. Yes, sir. Wherever she is, if she's fallen, Mama, we salute you, we congratulate you. In the name of Jesus, that miracle remains permanent. Yes. Lumbar spondylosis, in Jesus' name, you leave Mama and we declare she is healed now and healed forever. And you for standing, what are you trusting God for? No, I didn't say kneel down. Please stand up, our time is going. My friend, what are you trusting God for? Think before you talk, don't just speak. I'm... Yeah, don't be afraid. Um, I, 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 I heard this. God have told me that I'm, into, I'm called into ministry. Um, what I want is to have double portion of your anointing. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Baby Pula, sit down. Our time is going. Listen. He's a very wise person. But... But let me, let me, let me, you think I'm going to just impart and say, go and read your Bible. You people think anointing is, mm -mm, God doesn't work like that. You are, you are, listen, my friend, don't worry. God is going to, it is, it is my joy that God will raise multiples of this. You get the point. But there is a process in the spirit, huh? But I want to pray for you. What do you do now? I mean, told me, I was doing business before, but if I start explaining it, it is, it is too long. Listen, I want you to take care of that, your mother first, eh? Is when you can eat all that you have the strength to even do what you are doing. So I want to pray for you. Stretch your hands. In the name of Jesus. Believe what I'm saying. Father, empower this, my friend. That one day you will come and stand here. May God use relationships to change your life. In the name of Jesus. May God raise a helper to just hold your hand and help you. I release this grace upon you. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, please. Very quickly. Apostle, you spoke about the condition of malaria and hold on, actually, please. Hold on, please. So she was actually placed on drip right on this ground. Oh, you were placed on drip here by the medical team. Yes, sir. What happened to you? Malaria, and they, they placed you on drip yes. while service was going on. And an object was had been moving around her body for how long? You see, all these objects that. See, throughout this week, one week ago. And and right now, what happened to you? I'm okay. They removed the drip. Yes. <laughs> It's good to have medical people who have faith. Check yourself. Both of you, are you sisters? I've been having migraine for over 10 years. So after the prayers, it comes back and malaria. So after the prayers, you mentioned the case. I was laying hands on my head. So I didn't want to come out because it has happened for over 10 years. So I went into the restroom because once I perceive anything that has fragrance, it sparks it off. So, but as I went in there, I couldn't even perceive anything. That was how I knew that I'm completely healed. You see, that's how you know it's a demonic thing. For both of you, in Jesus' name, let there be supernatural miracles for you. 
In Jesus' name I pray. Let's, let's see if we can Sir, take two or three very more. Striking testimony. Yes, you go ahead. Word of knowledge of HIV. HIV? Yes, she has gone to take the test now from the medical team. And, she's and it's, it's negative. Negative. 12 years. 12 years. She's Hallelujah. Hey. Listen, let, let, let me tell you this. We have, we have very professional medical people. So don't you think that it's just, we have very, some of our people work in some of the, 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 the renowned institutions in this city. So if I tell you that someone was checked, we are people of integrity, we will not come and embarrass ourselves before the world. Twelve years. Ma how many years? Twelve years. You prayed with me September 14th. I came to see you with my husband after suffer, suffering from a lot of shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Yes. And I thank God today. I and what happened now? It came up. This is the doctor. Yes, go ahead. I ran the test three times and it all came out negative. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne. We raise the sound. We raise the sound. For He's God and God alone. Hallelujah. 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 Can I tell you this? HIV is a wicked and demonic whatever. And let me tell you, don't you think everyone who gets HIV got it from maybe living a wayward life? I have prayed for whole families where someone came in the dream, true story, with a syringe and injected them physically in the dream and they woke up physically with HIV. So not everybody you see with HIV... Don't stigmatize anyone. You see that now? Because there are people who have this thing for various reasons. But this is why God puts a miracle service. Imagine the shame and reproach. Three times. Three times. Father, ma Madam, don't cry, huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you have lost as a result of this reproach. Not only has God healed you, but we declare a restoration. <laughs> Opportunities and all kinds of relationships you have lost. Let there be restoration right now. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. She has had severe heart issues. In fact, her, her brother is a medical doctor. Because of how serious the case was. Heart issues. Heart issues. She, she weakness all around her body. She couldn't climb stairs. But the power of God came upon her. And she can raise up her hand very well. Give All this mic. she could not do before. Give when her the I mic. came during the prayer, I couldn't even raise this paper up. Like I had to be bringing Raise it up. Let the devil see it. Come, my dear. Run. Come and climb up. Hallelujah. 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 Heart condition couldn't even raise that thing up. You see how bad the devil is. If you cannot raise your hand up, the same way he brings down people's hands, he can bring down people's finances, he can bring down people's honor. Everything that has been brought down that you could not raise up, kaparus katebalakata, in the name of Jesus, here at this miracle service, if God could raise a hand back, may he raise your finances back. May he raise your honor back. May he raise your wisdom back. May he raise your fire back. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Quickly. You mentioned cases of skin rashes, hitches. The part of the has had it since 2009. What is that? Skin hitches, rashes on the skin. Rashes? Yes. Okay. The no, no, no. Please, we don't have time for the text. Just straight. The power of God came upon him yes. and he sounds now. 
completely completely the same thing with her the same thing with you yes sir. how long what happened to you i don't know the the skin rashes just came since six months now i've been taking medications nothing and, and you, now you just mentioned i'm not feeling any you're rashes. not feeling the itch yes. again in the name of jesus it will never return to you in jesus name yes sir so apostle just quickly praise god um some three weeks ago i had a miscarriage and I lost so much blood, and as a result of that, I've been having a numbing on my oh dear. left leg. So, coming into this place tonight, I felt the power of God. And you mentioned my case. You said somebody came with a left knee um, problem. Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. So, immediately I felt perfectly okay. I can do everything. Do you have now. children? No. How long have you been married? Last year. Do you believe in miracles? Yes, sir. Place your hand on your stomach. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. You believe in Jesus? I stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names. I command that devil I'm seeing, let her go right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her now. It's not miscarriage anything. These are demons from the pit of hell. Be delivered right now. Let me pray for everyone here. Trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, whether for you or your loved ones, I decree and declare, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, return with miracle children. Return with miracle children. Return with miracle children. My dear, tell her to write it. God will give her a baby boy. If her husband is here, write it. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old, for the Lord is doing a new thing for you. Yes, sir. So a person has a very strange condition. When he sits under the AC, no matter how low it is, he begins to find difficulty breathing, and it actually affects him. So he has a very severe headache just from that experience. Once you sit under AC. Once he sits under the AC. So headache God, or catar? Man of God, I greet you in Jesus' name. Amen. And my name is Emmanuel. Um, yes, just just the condition. Yes. Sorry, because so, of time. So just for time's yes. sake, Apostle. So the moment you prayed for healing for people with migraines and all, just a miracle for him. Instantly. For nine uh, years. Nine instantly. years. For nine years. You can't sit under AC. I can't sit under AC. And any time I go out with my governor to work with him, I do cover my nose, and uh, immediately I I come in for the miracle service and I discovered that I am supposed to remove my face mask. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I pray for you. It is permanent. It never returns to you again. In Jesus' name. Please, let's have two here Stop and then also. maybe, my God, there are so many testimonies. Do you know what? Let me tell you this. If you are unable to testify today, don't close down your testimony. We need to hear what Jesus is doing. The medical team, you can get it, we can collate it, and then by next week we can invite you to come and let the house know what Jesus is doing. It's not a good thing to be silent over profitable testimonies. They help strengthen the body. More than just showing that the man of God is powerful, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Just one, two, or three striking ones, and then we'll have... Yes, sir. So, sir, these are sportsmen, and... It will be interesting to actually hear what they have to say about their conditions. Yes, sir. Straight to the point. Yes, I have serious problem with my left leg. I'm in Abuja presently because the physiotherapist is taking care of the leg for like a month, my left leg. And what I'm, do you do? I play football. Oh, you're a footballer? Yes. I, I was playing for Kano Pillars before I had the injury and then I left for two years. So, I can't really work well. I can't really play well. I've been struggling with it. I've done all x yes. the scan and the rest. And then, during the anointing, when he mentioned the left leg, somebody cannot really do stuff. And there's yes. always pains there. So I didn't want to... I had to go to the bedroom and check. And then when I came back, my friend was sitting there. I said, Maduka, my leg, I can't feel the pain again. He said, Check it now. Check it. Completely. You were playing for Kano Pillars yes, before. Yes, sir. Can I pray? You really want to play football professionally. Let me pray for you. Look at me. My friend. Believe in the power of God. You will be surprised. There is a grace that can shift people. I stretch my hands. What's your name? Shama. Shama. Tanzi. Don't rise and run away from God. Though, because let me just give you a disclaimer. Most people, 
they use God. When they get there, they just dump him and enjoy. God is raising people who love him. But I stand by the God of heaven. See, there is a kingmaker anointing. Kingmakers never become kings themselves. But they can enthrone kings and dethrone kings. I stretch my hands now. And I pray for you. My friend, carry this grace. Go to the field. I pray that God will use you marvelously. You will be a source of pride to your family. Let this be the beginning of great days in your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. So, oh. similar condition, but he popped his knee playing basketball. Football at you? No, I was playing basketball a few, mix, um, few months back. So I popped my left knee. Okay. I couldn't walk. I was with a limb. And now? And now, as soon as you... Check yourself. Jump. Check yourself. <laughs> Check yourself. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. This healing remains permanent and the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Let's have a last one from this our little one. So, Apostle, this is interesting. He couldn't fold his legs, like bend his legs, but now... How old, how old are you, my friend? Eleven. Eleven? You couldn't fold your leg. What happened? I was playing ball. You were born that way? Playing, no, he okay, was playing ball. Okay, go ahead. Fold it now. Any pain? Any pain? Completely gone. Supernatural miracle. May God raise you to become a mighty vessel in his hands. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, please, Apostle, very quickly. Three years partial deafness in the left ear. God, she couldn't hear properly with it. Your but left now, ear? Sir. How long? Over three years now. Can you imagine this? Yes, but now I can hear perfectly. Very clearly. Yes, very clearly, sir. May you hear the voice of your destiny helper. <laughs> That ear that has opened, whether spiritually I use, because there is physical deafness, there is financial deafness, there is destiny deafness. I'm praying for you, the same way God opened her ears, in the name of Jesus Christ, in every realm of life where your ears cannot hear, let it be open right now in Jesus' name. You will not hear the voice of your enemy. As that ear is open, you will hear the voice of your helpers. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. Partial blindness. Her right eye. She couldn't see with it properly. So the doctor confirmed it. They asked her to close the left eye and then ask her to see. And How long? She can see. Madam? Three months and now, sir. And you, you could not see with which, which of them? The right eye. Close the one you could not see with. Close the one you could see with. No, she's closing two of them. Close. How, how do I tell her now? Yes. Madam, walk. Walk to the camera. Walk to the camera. Just follow the camera. Follow the camera. Look at what God is doing. Ah, look at this. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. That's all right. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, look at me. I decree and declare. You can, you can clearly see. When you see her eyes, you can see that this is almost as if she's completely blind. In Jesus' name, we correct this situation now. In Jesus' name. Please let that be the last for now so oh, that we can. Ashes. You mentioned pelvic girl pain. Are you what? together with the boy? Okay, so let's, let's just do it with the boy once and for all. And that will be it. Yes, please. The pelvic gadu pain has gone down. Okay, what happened to you, Mama? I had a pelvic gadu pain. And for a very long time, but very, very lately, it's been very painful. So during the praise worship, I danced as if I, as I never danced before. So uh, yes. after I felt... The pain was gone. Completely. Completely, but when pressing it, you will I still feel a bit of pain, pain, yes. But when the word of knowledge came, the pain was gone. Completely. Completely. Check it now. Any pain? Any pain? Secondly, there was something like a phlegm, like cough on my throat. Okay. I tried so many times to cough it out, but it let, never... let him testify with the boy after. Yes. But just now, it's gone. it's gone. It will never return to you again, Mama. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, please. Very quickly. 
if, if you are yet to confirm it, that's all right. We'll pray. You mentioned the case of bipolar. So it just came to present. Oh, the, uh, the in the name thing. of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands over the little boy. How old is he? Nine years. Who is? Nine. Nine. Yes. How old? Nine years. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands over the little one. Amen. Bipolar. Amen. Be completely healed right now. Amen. Okay, two of them. In Jesus' name, I lay my hands on both of them. Oh, you can see this one is not bipolar now. This looks like autism. In the name of Jesus, let there be healing for both of them. You know, sometimes these conditions can be so challenging. You can't imagine how it is. In Jesus' name, let there be a miracle for them. And I, I pray for all of you. We apologize that we didn't have the time. But I pray that your miracles remain permanent. In Jesus name and for all those who have received their miracles at home I decree and declare supernatural healing for you in Jesus name and it remains permanent can you stretch your hands here for a moment we're about rounding up if you can stand please this is the final stage apologies it's a miracle service and sometimes it will stretch us a bit just stretch your hands in one minute as we decree and declare I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. This, for me, is one of the major parts of this meeting because this is the most accurate representation of people's desires. We see in part, we prophesy in part. doesn't matter who is healed. Sometimes you just cannot minister enough. But I want you to stretch your hands right now and begin to declare over these requests. We decree and we declare online, offline, we declare by the Spirit of the Living God. Father, we decree and declare, let there be miracles. Turn everyone's mourning to dancing, sorrow to joy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every garment of shame for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified i decree and declare right now over every request here i pray by the power that raised christ from the dead that every request here is turned for a testimony in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm praying if there is any death sentence here represented in the name of Jesus we avert it right now Amen. embarrassing financial conditions we turn that shame and that reproach to honor in Jesus name Amen. I decree and declare that every victory that Satan may seem to be having over every life we decree the same way Jesus rose up from the dead in the name of Jesus, everything that looks dead, it must come back to life. And as I would always declare, I decree upon these requests, that these Egyptians you see today, in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the living God, may you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, let me speak over your life. I truly believe in the power of prophecy. every financial door i just sense in my heart to pray if you don't believe it don't worry wait for what you believe that i'm talking about then you receive but i pray right now every financial door that has been closed over everyone here in the name of jesus causing all kinds of constraints and inconveniences in the name of jesus let that door be open now <laughs> financial doors be open now financial doors be open now for individuals for institutions for families financial doors be open now so that you will have supplies that will give you the opportunity to focus on your work with god and your destiny again i pray that those doors be open now hear me anyone here who is in any kind of debt personal debt corporate debt 
in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, by the power that raised Christ up from the dead, come out of that situation now. Everyone who has promised to help you and has forgotten about you, in the name of Jesus right now, here at this miracle service, I decree and declare, let the book of remembrance be opened concerning you. Let the book of remembrance be opened concerning you. Hallelujah. There is a garment of favor that an individual can wear. And you can wear and move and everything around you will attest to the fact that you carry that garment. Every garment of shame and reproach. Prophetically, I remove it from you right now. And I decree and declare, for your shame, may God grant you access to the garment of favor. Favor in the city, favor in the country, favor in the morning, favor in the afternoon, favor in the night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please help them. I want to pray. If there is any addiction that the devil is using to trap you, because many people's finances go because of all kinds of addiction, I decree and declare right now, any addiction that is trapping your life, trapping your destiny, here at this miracle service, the power of that addiction over your life, let it be broken now. 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 We believe in winning families. Any family here that is under siege, troubles every day, joblessness, weakness, death, in the name that is above all names, I speak over every family here represented. Step into a new season of favor. I pray for your spiritual life. Because you see, no matter what else works in your life, if your prayer life, your word life, your passion for God and for the things of God, if it goes down, everything went down. Therefore, I decree in the name of Jesus. For someone's prayer life here that is yet to catch fire, I release my faith with you from tonight spiritual laziness that will not allow you pray that will not allow you fast that will not allow you study scripture in the name of jesus we declare the spirit that is behind it let it live your life now i declare fresh fire over your spirit man fire for prayer fire for word study fire for fellowship in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I pray for you. We are stepping into October. I want to speak over your life. Everything you saw at the beginning of this year that your hands have not yet handled. Between the remaining days, now and the end of September, I decree and declare. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.